Okay, Atlas, we were gonna set up the camera first, but I mean, I, all right. <laughs> I wanna go swimming. Welcome back to Nature League. Here we are uh, on beautiful spring break, 2K20. And also uh, happened to be in the middle of a global pandemic, of a very real virus. So instead of busting out the St. Patrick's Day uh, social distancing booze, I figured I would maybe share with you guys a, uh, a thing I learned about life on Earth that relates to St. Patrick's Day. One of the things uh, about St. Patrick is separating the truth from the fiction. St. Patrick himself was a real guy. He was a bishop in Ireland around the 5th century. Uh, but where it gets not so real is all of the myth and storytelling that surrounds him. One of the most famous is that St. Patrick drove all of the snakes away from Ireland, which some people thought makes sense because there aren't any snakes in Ireland. Like, there aren't any. There are some in zoos or some that are domestic or people have as pets, you know, companion snakeys, what have you. But as far as actually existing outside of in human spaces, um, there just aren't snakes in Ireland. And so, as the myth goes, St. Patrick gathered and then expelled all of the snakes into the sea. What was probably happening here was some kind of a metaphor or stand-in where snakes actually represented druids or pagans, basically the religions that existed before kind of forced Catholicism or Christianity that was happening and was pretty widespread. But I digress. So why are there no snakes in Ireland? besides the myth about it being St. Patrick. Well, the absence of snakes in Ireland actually has to do with something called biogeography. So bio meaning life and geography meaning place. So biogeography is the study of where life on earth lives, how it got there, and kind of why it's still there. For reptiles in Britain overall, the fossil records suggest that they came over from Europe's mainland by crossing a land bridge after the last ice age. However, the Irish Sea popped up before Britain totally separated, meaning that only a few of the earliest colonizing reptiles actually made it over to Ireland. And it so happens that snakes simply couldn't make it to Ireland before there was water in the way. So it's really cool. The reason we see certain life on Earth in certain places now has to do with things the Earth was doing a long time ago. And just so happens humans are really good at storytelling so why not make up the fact that some guy was like hey snakes get out and now everyone should drink in memory of me i don't know if that's what saint patrick did honestly i i i've no idea what i can say though is that i hope you have enjoyed learning a little bit about the biogeography of snakes and ireland and uh hope you guys are staying safe out there and certainly keep checking out educational content here on nature league or other channels on youtube while you are keeping yourself safe and distant and uh hopefully enjoying yourself like i am on this gorgeous day here in montana thanks so much and we'll see you again soon Right. All right, tripod, you win this round. <laughs> oh, buddy, <laughs> that was two sticks. That's amazing. It's like magic.